All right, so I'm in your garage, and this is what we got. The sewer runs through here, comes over here. This is the pipe that we've relined. The reline starts like right here. The reline looks great. I was pushing a lot of stuff to our area and letting it flow out. Now the pipe is destroyed. It's, it's trash all the way through here. There's roots. It shoots straight back to that wall back there, and there's roots and the hairline crack all the way down it. Uh, you can sort of see it on the video that I'm going to load up for you guys, but it's really dirty in there. Uh, and so, moving forward, we have to expose the sewer from here and through here. What I'm recommending doing, since why is that happening? Since we've already relined from right here on, we might as well just go back that eight feet to that stack right there and pull out all that old cast iron because the old cast irons we're having a problem with. So, all that being said, let's just call that ten feet. So it's like 30, 30, 60, 70, 75 feet of pipe that we have to take out. The floor drain back here, right, which you might not be able to see, uh, it's got sewage all around it. This pipe back here, which I don't even want to open the door because it's so nasty, four inches of sewage back there because everything's been backing up to there. So back here at the toilet, Right past the toilet flange down in the 90 right there, that piece of tape, the pipe is 100% full of roots. It runs full of roots. It runs underneath there and comes underneath the, van the, the vanity that's right in there, the shower, the closet, and comes to here. All roots and debris and all types of things. Comes through here, turns, and goes back that way. All full of roots, all full of everything. Nothing really is going to drain very well. So we need to go all the way back to that stack in there, bring it straight through here, Get this pipe coming this way, go into the bathroom, redo the bathroom group. Problem with it is, is the shower has got to come out. We can put the vanity back, but that shower isn't going to survive. It's made of really thin metal. Uh, it just is what it is. We'll take it out, but we won't put it back because it's just not going to survive. Uh, this will come out and come right back in. The other thing you got to know is that these stick down tiles, they're, they're not going to survive. Uh, they're not going to be able to be re-stepped down, so you're going to need to get a flooring company in here to fix all this. But we've got to go from there all the way through, all the way out uh, to there. It's like 70 feet, 75, neither here nor there. Now we've got jackhammering dig down. It's three feet deep. Now I've spoken with your tenant, uh, and we're going to create him like bubbles to put his stuff in so that he can have places to be. Uh, but we need to come right through here. We will end up hauling all the construction debris out and pouring new concrete, but we do not put floor back. We put the concrete to put the floor back, but we don't put the floor back. And so that's what we've got all the way from the toilet flange, the floor drain here. Make sure that the laundry and the kitchen line, which are coming down here somewhere. I couldn't see them as I was looking up in here. Here's the electrical. Anyway, so they're back in there somewhere. Uh, make sure that they're reconnected as well. New main line all the way through, 75 feet that way. 